Rendu, the monster of the night. Long, long ago, a hundred generations back, a warrior king ruled the Viking land of Denmark. Hrothgar was his name, and although he was fearsome, he was also generous and very wise. One spring, Hrothgar decided to raise for his people a new cathedral, more large and more splendid than any other built. Only the finest timbers and the finest craftsmen were to be used, proclaimed the king. It will seem that in no time the meat hall was finished and named it Kirot. Night after night, the Danes feasted in Kirot, listening to the song of the harp and the song and music of the poets. However, there was another listener outside in the darkness. Grendel, a beast from hell, born of evil and shame. Enraged by the music and the laughter, Grendel <coughs> waited till Hrothgar was asleep and then attacked mercilessly. In his bloodlust, thirty strong lords were murdered and carried back to his lair to be devoured. Only when day broke did the Danes and their king decide the miserable slaughter. For twelve long years, Grendel terrorized Denmark. The innocent, the sick, children and babies all fell victim to the fiends. Hero stood empty as a cruel reminder of the happy past.
first time in when Gretel was afraid. He desperately tried to escape. With grit and determination, the geese prince held on until crack! With a stomach churning twist, the Gretel's arm was torn from his body and fled from Heroes. Over the moors, he staggered and stumbled back to his lair, his life's blood draining with every step. So, Beowulf the Good had triumphed in his bitter battle with Grendel. News spread and people from all over the land came to see the hands hit on hanging in Herod. They followed Grendel's blood-stained tracks back to his lair, where he had met his miserable death. Beowulf, my family and my followers, will be held in honour and love until the end of time. They didn't know then that the celebration would destroy.